Kramer from CNN State of the Union and factcheck.org. And this week, we're going to take a look at comments made by President Trump and Attorney General Jeff Sessions when describing the program known as DACA, which stands for Deferred Action on Childhood Arrivals. It's an Obama-era program uh, that temporarily uh, offered protections uh, for undocumented immigrants who were brought to the United States uh, when they were children. As you know, uh, Trump and Sessions this week announced uh, that they were rescinding uh, the program. Uh, take a listen to how they described it. Let's start with Attorney General Sessions. The DACA program was implemented in 2012 and essentially provided a legal status for recipients for a renewable two-year term, worker authorization, and other benefits, including participation in the Social Security program uh, to 800,000 mostly adult illegal aliens. And President Trump made a similar point when talking uh, during a meeting on tax reform. I have a great heart for the folks we're talking about, a great love for them. And people think in terms of children, but they're really young adults. So is that true, what President Trump and Attorney General Sessions are saying, how they're describing recipients of DACA? Is it true that the recipients are, as Trump said, really young adults, or as Sessions said, quote, 800,000 mostly adult illegal aliens? Yes, that is true. The individuals in question who benefit from DACA, DACA, Deferred Action on Childhood Arrivals, are mostly adults and they are undocumented immigrants. But in their descriptions, both the president and the attorney general are leaving out a very important bit of context, which is that these individuals were brought to the United States when they were children through no fault of their own. DACA, which is now in its fifth year, is open to those who are at least 15 years old and no more than 31 years old as of June 15, 2012. To be eligible for DACA, individuals had to prove that they were under the age of 16 when they arrived in the United States and that they had been living in the U.S. continuously since June 15, 2007. A professor at UC San Diego, Tom Wong, oversaw a national survey last month of more than 3,000 DACA holders, and he found that although 98% of them are currently adults over the age of 18, most of them, 54%, were under the age of 7 when they arrived in the United States. In fact, the average age of a DACA recipient when coming to the United States was six and a half. So here's the bottom line, the comments by President Trump and Attorney General Sessions when describing the recipients of DACA are technically true. They are mostly adults, but they leave out such an important part of the context of who these individuals are, that they were brought here as children, that we are judging those statements to be misleading. A reminder to all you politicians out there, you are perfectly entitled to your own opinions, not to your own facts. I'm Jake Tapper for CNN State of the Union and fact-checked up.